Okay, this is a warning. I have gained so much weight in December, and please bear with this. Okay, um, yeah, I ate a lot in December, and I ate carbs. I had all the things that everybody thinks that I shouldn't be having, but yeah, I did. Paula, I didn't have ice cream. I think I didn't have ice cream, but yeah, that's me. And I made the video, and you're gonna watch this. Watch this plumped me talking. Bear with me. Okay. Hi guys, I just came back from Bowie's. We had a really nice um, dinner in this first in the week, the first dinner of 2020. And on my way home, I was getting a little emotional, um, and I felt like I need to, I want to share with you guys. And I've talked to Bowie about this, and she. Um, has been very supportive and she's supporting me talking about my feelings with this page and with my keto journey on this page so here I am filming on the floor um, I remember 2019 February I was 210 pounds and I didn't lose any weight in the first two months and my weight uh, my goal was not to lose weight but to battle with my depression and anxiety problem um it is very hard talking about it still because it's not simply just not my nature to air about my personal to air my personal thought um with people not just with strangers but sometimes i think i found myself in denial for that and I especially make these videos for myself and also my friends and for people that who have never met me in person. Um, no, it's it's everybody think that being on keto it's easy. You just need to follow a meal plan, but it is not as easy as we think it is because apart from a diet plan, there's so many personal growth in fourth and um, it's not easy to deny um, my our personal needs and our feelings and I found people um, are equally vulnerable when they first start keto or a few months in keto because you know, there's so many things going on in your head and there's so many changes happening, going on in your body that you feel like you need to share uh, with someone. Um, but most of the time people might not understand and many things that you asked for, you know, you started this diet, nobody asked you to do that. You just do it all for yourself. True. But I do think that at some point in life we have to really stop and ask ourselves am I doing all this right? and you know if what we believe is truly the right path for us you know I think I have been having this kind of thought throughout my life if you look at my education and work background you know that I never really settle at one point and I always keep asking and challenging myself and it comes with a lot of pain pain that not a lot of people understand and so i i was i'm just trying to say that i'm very grateful to have found this page thank you nick for creating this and also i want to talk about um people in this page um I do not want to sound negative, but sometimes, apart from us all being on keto, there's not much uh, that we have in common. And it is very easy for us to fill in the blank um, ourselves when we meet someone that we thought it could be a potential friendship. But then people might have different agenda that it's not within your control and it's 
and and as you know when you talked about keto police and the people that are very judgmental which i could be i could be one of them sometimes you know and sometimes it's not really about you posing something that you should eat or you shouldn't it's just that you know when we answer your question it's a kind of question that we try to give ourselves don't you think that i would want to have um i wouldn't want to have coke zero or 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 sausages i do i do and as much as much as i do i do want to share i want i would want to stop myself from having that and it's, it is such a self-reflective moment when you look at the questions and you kind of ask yourself the same question should i eat this or should i not and when we are not talking about uh two weeks change of diet we're talking about a lifestyle change it is very it's, it is such a dramatic change for ourselves internally as well so people on this page they're trying to make money and there are many people on this page are trying to um follow a keto diet ketogenic diet and i can say most of the people here just trying to do that and saying so nothing wrong with trying to make money i just want to let you know i hold nothing against that but it is very easy for us to choose to believe in something and not seeing the same um when feelings are not reciprocate and we might easily feel hurt and that's the nature of things i think um but i do want to thank you everyone that who have met me in person who have gave me personal support on my keto uh, journey or you know my emotional um improvements and struggles and all that and i think in february i'll be drug free for almost one year yay and um december december has been one of the most chaotic months to me internally in hong kong you know, I uh, give my. I told myself, I can have low carb. I don't have to go straight keto in December because it is December, and it's, and Christmas, is such, a big thing for me. It's one of my favorite, festivals. Um, so I've been on low carb, and I gained some weight back. And you, if you see my cheek, I'm with a filter now, so trying to make myself pretty for you guys but this this is the best i can try you see i gained some weight back and but i don't really worry about that because i know um i'm gonna lose more weight and be more healthy in 2020 if 2019 was to was stage one to stop all the medication and lose the first layer of fat on me 2020 is for me to lose the second layer of fat and also to tune up what do you think um i have a lot of plan in 2020 and i want to include you guys in my journey and i haven't been as active as i want to be on this page for a lot of reasons and uh, I don't want to feel obliged to answer questions which I used to feel that way, but not anymore. Uh, yes, so I just want to say thank you for say thank you to all my friends that who support me throughout the journey. I want to thank Gio, um, who. Um, used to be such a big cop buddy of mine, but now she always find try to find keto options. 
when it comes to looking for a restaurants and and also Bowie of course and Bowie and her husband Fanky who adopted me as a dining buddy and activity buddy and I'm really thankful for that and also I met and I met some other interesting people who um, are in the business uh, the keto business um, some most of them I would say uh, are very supportive and and they show such a strength um, on not giving up and be creative and be loving caring and kind to one another and I um, yeah and especially um, Elizabeth and also my personal friend Lena as well and 2020 I'm trying to keep my um, friendlies even cleaner and more exclusive to people who deserve my time so if you are on this diet and if you also suffering from if you're also suffering from having nightmares or maybe like I was before that you are on medication and you want to just hang out and talk about things and doesn't have to be money related or you know business related or anything um, I am a trained and licensed certified nutritional therapist in the UK and I am also a qualified fat and I am a lot of things but I do not want anyone to be defined by what they study and their hobbies and neither do I want myself to be defined by my certificate so I'm here to make friends and I'm here to support each other and I want to give what I want to receive to you guys I want to receive love and support and kindness and just a hi so if you want the same let me know and we hang out and we meet and we meet for coffee movie and stuff okay so I'm sending you a lot of love in the beginning of 2020 and I cannot wait to meet you and to see you in person okay I'll talk to you soon